What's up everybody, I'm Josh Elkin. Welcome back. Today I'm using a cake pan again, but this time I'm not making a dessert cake. I'm making a multi-layered lasagna cake. Let's get on with the recipe. All right, all right, we got a lot to unravel in this video and this recipe. And the first thing we're gonna start doing is making some homemade pasta dough. It's super simple, I've made it many times before, and if you've never made it, it's very, very easy. All it takes is a little bit of flour, some salt, egg, and a little bit of olive oil. Once that's done, wrap it with some saran wrap and let it just chill so that the gluten can form and the dough can get strong. Now it's on to making the bolognese sauce. Now this is a little bit different than the bolognese I've made in the past. I'm omitting the spiciness and not putting in Calabrian chili paste. But to start to make this sauce is using a little trifecta action mirepoix, using some carrot, celery, and onion as the flavor base. Now to the bottom of this stock pan, I'm gonna add a little drizzle of olive oil and start sauteing our vegetables. At that point, I'm gonna add our meat. And in this case, I'm using 80-20 ground beef and a little bit of spicy Italian sausage. There is one commonality between most bolognese recipes that exist, and that's using some red wine, but also using a little bit of milk, which upon my research felt like it was a little weird, but actually it adds a lot of richness and deepens the flavor inside this pot. Once it's all mixed together, add a little bit of tomato paste for some thickness and some tomato sauce or crushed up tomatoes. Hit it with some Italian seasoning or some oregano, basil, marjoram, and thyme, and then let that just simmer and let those flavors get real acquainted. And now back to the pasta, and I'm using a pasta the attachment for my stand mixer. I'm trying to get these to an eighth of an inch in thickness, but I'm also trying to get enough noodles to cover the surface area of the spring form cake pan, which is why you see me cutting these down to size. If you're rolling these out by hand, you might be able to get away with one noodle per surface area, but in this case, I think it's around two to three sheets of pasta per layer. If you have a pasta dryer, throw those on that, or you could just layer it in between sheets of parchment paper. Then bring a large pot of salted water to a boil and cook the noodles for a about two minutes. We're not trying to cook them fully because they are going inside the oven. Then just set them aside and onto the bechamel. I got some butter and flour inside this pot. I'm gonna add some milk, but I'm also gonna add some heavy cream to get real thickness. And for that classic bechamel flavor, a little bit of nutmeg. Now, once the bechamel is done, there's only a couple more steps before we get to build this lasagna. And the first step to that is shredding up some cheese. I'm using some mozzarella and some Parmesan just for a little added kick, if you will. Bolognese, check, cheese, check. Check, bechamel, check, noodles, check, building this lasagna on deck. To the base of the spring form cake pan, add a little bit of the bolognese sauce. Of course, you gotta start this with the sauce right away. And then on top of that, a layer of the noodles. Then it's all about repeating layers and sort of modifying as you go. So I got a layer of sauce, a layer of noodles. I'm gonna add another layer of sauce on top. A thin layer of bechamel, more noodles, another layer of some of this shredded cheese, and then we just repeat everything. Maybe you wanna add more bechamel. Maybe you want to add more sauce. That's the beauty of making a lasagna. There's no set, tried, and true way to do this. It's just layering, okay? If you don't like bechamel, maybe you don't want to add that much. If you want more cheese, that's on you. The key to this cake and my lasagna is I'm adding fresh mozzarella on top. Now you could add big pieces, small pieces. The key is to cover the entire surface. Then before putting it in the oven, cover it in some aluminum foil. To accompany this lasagna cake, I'm making some cheesy garlic bread. I'm using some room temperature butter, a little bit of chopped up parsley and some minced garlic. I'm also using the small side of a box grater or a microplane to finely grate Parmesan cheese. The key to this cheesy garlic bread is using the room temperature butter. Now you could melt the butter and then sort of add it to the piece of bread, but if you use room temperature butter, that will mix with all the other ingredients and create a paste. Then you could take that paste and you could spread it over the piece of bread, then add it to the oven. This is gonna create that bubbly, cheesy deliciousness. Now don't get ahead of yourself. You don't need to put it on broil. You just need to bake it. The heat in the oven will do the work, okay? If you put it on broil, you're definitely gonna forget about it. You're gonna burn the garlic bread, then you're gonna have to start it all over. And here it is in all its glory. So many different layers, and it's on a bed of bolognese. There's bolognese inside the layers of lasagna. It's homemade noodles. You got some bechamel sauce instead of ricotta. And if you've never tried bechamel in place of ricotta, then you need to because it is a game changer. Let's crack into this and see what's up for real. Yeah. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and you liked the recipe. If you want to try it, check out the link in the description down below and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.